Hello everyone and now welcome to game number three in this series. So far the first two games have been extremely fast and no real reason or rhyme for it other than a very very quick action by both players. We're opening up with an altar of elders and we do see a moonwell already coming into play. Altar of kings coming in in addition to a barracks by Hawk as Hawk is once again spawning as the blue human. Human versus Night Elf. I believe we are all tied up at one game apiece as things are just now getting underway. Let's go ahead and speed things up just a little bit. Nothing really to talk about here in the opening two minutes as the Altar of Elders is going to be showing a Demon Hunter against a uh, Archmage this time around. I was, I was actually expecting a Mountain King, but Archmage does make a lot of sense as the Militia are now making their way down. It looks as though the Militia are going to be going to help clear out either the Mercenary Camp here or the 533 Camp right off over here. It's going to be a little bit of a timing issue as the Archmage is going to go ahead and attempt to take down some of this here. Militia going to go ahead and surround the Renegade Wizard as there is a Wisp right there. That Wisp, you have to be extremely, extremely careful. Is the Wisp going to get a detonation off? No, not going to get a detonation off as the Renegade Wizard does fall, giving a Ring of Protection plus 3. That ring of protection plus three. Essentially, oh, what is he going to pick up? A wisp is the rule right there. And you can see Top Odin, who is actually... Um, Top Odin, who is Hawk, was the one who picked up the Troll Shadow Priest. And now is going to be able to heal back up. That Troll Shadow Priest does do a number early on. And the Demon Hunter wants to take him down. All right, are we going to see a quick mana burn there on the... on No, onto the Archmage. Archmage now down to... What, 90 mana as the Demon Hunter going straight for that Troll Shadow Priest. Troll Shadow Priest pretty much having nowhere to go. Gonna run all the way and hide in between there as the Demon Hunter still running around in circles. This is not a good spot for Rudon to be in. He does get off a second mana burn, which means that the Archmage is 100 mana down and will have a little bit of difficulty trying to um, get to level 3. Without that mana, he's not able to clear out these green creep camps nearly as easily. That water elemental, that time life is nearly done. And that was a very, very good use of, of time to just try and make sure that his opponent couldn't do nearly as much. All right, there's another bit mana burn onto the Archmage. Archmage is just having a really bad day, perhaps not knowing that there was a Shadow Melded Archer. That Shadow Melded Archer causing a bit more problem. Another mana burn goes down. So we are in fact... 200 mana down from that Archmage. That Archmage had Archmage having a bit of a problem now as the Troll Berserker has joined. All right, Troll Shadow Priest. Archmage has not picked up Dust of Appearance as of yet. And this is a very, very strong play by Rudon so far if he can actually capitalize on it. All right, Archers coming in. A quick ensnare. Archers now attempting to take down a couple of of units here. A footman going to be taking a lot of damage. It looks like one footman will get taken down. The archers are going to try and shadow melt and do in fact shadow melt. Another mana burn goes down and that brilliance aura is actually hurting the archmage more than anything. All right, we're going to go ahead and try to come back in. Are we going to perhaps just a mana burn onto the troll shadow priest? The troll shadow priest taking a lot of damage. Demon hunter now down to 117 hit points, still surviving as we see a ring of protection plus two. Archmage picks it up now with plus five mana. As we are attempting to take down another militia there. And is the... Oh! A beautiful heal at the last second. Saves the troll berserker as the archmage is now at level 2 still. Demon hunter was um, able to get a little bit more health. Troll berserker having a little bit of a bad day there. Needs to get healed back up. There is, I believe, um, a moonwell in the center of the map which may be used by that troll berserker here in just a moment meanwhile tech to tier two is already done so we may pick up a naga sea witch and then try to put pressure on that expansion that things are looking good for rudon rudon if he can get um, and take down this archmage that archmage does have a level two water elemental out on the field but i do not believe it's going to be sticking around for very long as the demon hunter now looking to push through all right oh low hit point units mana burn straight up on the archmage already as we are now going in for an engagement all right that um demon hunter needs to get healed don't know why the troll shadow priest is not um i repeat not healing the demon hunter there you go and now going after the arcane tower arcane tower taking a whole bunch of damage and quickly 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 canceled there 
there as the Troll Shadow Priest also falls as well. That Troll Shadow Priest was a very, very expensive loss for Rudon as Rudon now only has very, very weak units as Militia are now coming in over to reinforce. Time, life, the Militia still have half-life there as all of them are now looking to turn around again. Demon Hunter looking to engage. There is a bit more damage. Oh, quick Shadow Melt again. And the use of Shadow Melt by, Ru by Rudon has been just top, top notch. So far, the Naga Sea Witch with constant slow has been able to pick off fleeing units rather easily as we now see the ivory towers or the scout towers now being added all right more trying to be added here footmen are once again what's going on here the footmen are once again um trying to engage here and this is just not looking good the footmen just going to be falling as the archer archers are shadow melding one at a time and this is just looking very good um all together rudon um, having a very very good game here keeping a bunch of low hit point units all together as the troll shadow priest may get taken down no mana burn on it i am surprised by that uh, uh, just a mana burn on the troll shadow priest would have given level three to the demon hunter as another mana burn goes down on the Archmage. Archmage now down to um, what? 315 hit points. We may see a quick turnaround. Level 2 now on the Naga Sea Witch. Cold arrows onto that Archmage as the Militia now coming over to reinforce. Shadow Meld is not going to be available in just a few seconds. This could be a very big deal here as the Demon Hunter just needs to turn around and in order to um, just take down that footman. Not quite sure. Still chasing after the Archmage instead as we see Rudon picking up some additional creeps. That was a big deal. Rudon picking up the Mud Golem able to Slow down the Hawks. Archmage, Archmage, forced to use a Squirrel Town Portal as one footman does go down. Level 3 on the Demon Hunter and very fast action coming in so far. All right, coming back down over here. Naga Sea Witch, um, is it going to be able to run or get that Archmage? No, it will not. As you see, um, you can see that there is an Ogre Mauler here attempting to take down more units. Naga Sea Witch doing a good job up in the front as the Mud Golem and more units are still pushing all, all together here. So far, Archmage does fall at level 3 back over here and I believe the GG should be coming in the demon hunter finally getting the archmage after a long battle as there goes the ogre mauler and that is the gg rudon taking game number three very impressively thanks for watching thanks for listening hope you guys enjoyed game three please stay tuned for game number four